Now to the movie The Good Lie, inspired by real life events. It tells the story about the lost boys of Sudan, thousands of children orphaned by the brutal Sudanese civil war, walking thousands of miles through gunfire and wild animals, staving off hunger, only some of them making it to safety. In The Good Lie, we meet three lost boys and follow their harrowing journey to America to build a new life. And that's when they meet an employment counselor played by Reese Witherspoon. I have to say, your character was quite a departure from the types of characters you typically play. Carrie was a slob. I need your help. Yeah, you do. Tough, fiercely independent. I provide for myself. Your survival skills are very impressive. Thanks. And in the beginning, removed um, emotionally. Well, it was a wonderful opportunity to um, play a different kind of character. I didn't want this to be about a white woman coming in and solving problems, because that's not what the story is about at all. It's about a woman with her own set of problems who has found, reluctantly, um, a family. And um, opening your heart to other ideas and to other kinds of people is a beautiful thing. What did you think when they told you they were going to use real, actual refugees to play the main parts? I was blown away by their professionalism, them knowing their lines, but also the emotion that they brought to their performances because they had real life experience. And the three of you represent uh, what so many other Lost Boys have accomplished um, against all odds. To, to what do you attribute your success? Oh, well, you know, sweet. this film is very important. You know, it's set on a backdrop of a long civil war between North and South Sudan. And the center is our life experiences, former lost boys of Sudan. They're, now they are not longer lost. They are men who will contribute for this society. Whoever watch it, if you don't have a purpose in life properly, you'll be inspired and you'll mm -hmm. see your purpose. And there are even some funny moments. I mean, I, I was crying, I was laughing. Uh, one of the funnier moments was when they tell you your nickname. <laughs> <laughs> they all think that's very funny. Well, can, what was it again? I, I forgot. <laughs> I will pray for you. Yard. Yard. It is a special name for you. It means great white cow. Well, it's better than a lot of things I've been called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a compliment in America, but is it a compliment in Africa? It's it is big definitely, sis. yes. I preferred big sis. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, big sis. You must be the guys from uh, Somalia, Senegal, Sudan. Did your luggage come down the chute? Great. Did you personally change? I know your character changed in the movie. Did you have a personal evolution? Absolutely. I think visiting Kakuma refugee camp was a very emotional experience for me. I brought my 14-year-old daughter with me. I can't even tell you. It comes from a place of something I've never seen, something I've never understood before. And getting to work with Gare and Emmanuel, you just see the, the triumph of the human spirit, that they have been through so much in their lives but are still so grateful for the opportunities they've had um, and that I'll, I'll treasure that forever for the rest of my life. But how far away? And The Good Lie is in theaters October 3rd and you can learn more about The Lost Boys journey at goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo.